Hi and welcome back to the fifth part of building a SAS using Django and Vue.js. I have built a little bit of the project but there are still tons of things to do. I can now create users and log them into the dashboard. Just want to point out that I did a little mistake in the previous video. I wrote wrong here. It should be link href and then this rel start shit. And that's why you see a blue background now that you didn't see last time. In this part of the series I will make it possible to add categories. I will use Django model form for the categories which makes it really easy to add forms with validation and everything we need. I want to begin by creating the database model for the category. So open a bookmark slash models.py and this is where both the category model and the bookmark model is going to be. I need to import the user model to make it possible to connect the category to the authenticated user. From django.contrib.auth.models import user. And then I need to create a model. Test category models.model title. We want the title for the category. Models.char field max length. 255. Also want a description for each of the categories. But this can be blank. I want the field to connect the category to the user, so I created by equals models.forine key user related name categories. So then I can say user.categories to get all the categories that the user has added. On delete equals models dot cascade. So if I delete the user, all the categories will also be deleted. Also want one field for when the category was added. Created at models.date time field. I do now add equals true. So when we save, the date time field will be filled automatically. I want to add a function here, def str. This is a human readable version of the model. So instead of returning an object, I will now see the title. Turn self.title and save. The bookmark app is already added to the list of installed apps, so that means that Django is aware of it, but I still need to update the database. I do this by going to the command line and stopping the server. Oops, it should be models.cascade, not model, sorry. And then I can run Python, manage, make, migrations. Spell something wrong. Okay, that was it. It was models with just lower cases. Python manage migrate. And now the model is created and added to the database. Let's import this model to the Django admin interface. So go back to the editor and to admin.py. And here I can import the model from dot models import category admin.site register category. So now this will be showing inside the Django interface. Then I can start the server again and go to the browser admin. Then I need to log in with the user I created in the first part. As you can see here you will find the Django user and Django groups model. They are here by default. Below we will find the category model we just added. Let's try to add a category. I want it to be called search engines. This is my favorite search engines. Created by like that because that's my user for the front end. And save. As you can see here it says categories which is not the correct way to spell this but I can fix this. Just go to models.py. So above this function I say class meta 
this is options for the model verbose name plural equals categories and save if I refresh now it will say categories instead now that we know that this is working we can begin by listing out all categories on the category page open a bookmark slash views.py and import the model up here from dot models import category and inside the category view I want to get all the categories belonging to the authenticated user so then I say categories equals request.user.categories.all and then I add a dictionary context categories categories and I also need to pass this data in to the template Next I need to change the template to show these categories instead of the demo content. So go back to categories.html and I can remove two of these. And above the column here I say for category in categories. And for and I want to show the title here, category.title, the description, category.description, and save. I can go to the browser to check it out. Just click on categories. It doesn't show any categories now because I'm signed in as admin. So I need to log in again, code. And if I now click categories, I will see the search engine, which is the category I just added. Let's make a new template and view for the detail page of a category. I will begin with the template. Create a new file called category.html. Just paste this and then remove this. Category.title. And I can show the description here too. And save. Below here, list links here. This is where I will show the links belonging to this category later. I don't want to add anything more here for now. But I also need a view for this template, so I go back to views.py. Add the login decorator, def category, request, and here I want one more parameter which is the category ID. To get this category, I say category equals category.objects.get pk, which is primary key, equals category.id. You can also create a dictionary here. Category. return render request bookmark category.html and pass in the context next I need to add the view to the URL patterns so I go back to urls.py inside the dashboard here import category path forgot to add a comma here categories int category id and I want to, here I want the integer with this value so this will be passed into the function we just created category and name category and then we can change the links in the category.html sorry in the categories.html remove this view and then I say URL category and behind here I want to add the category.id then we can save that's everything we need so I can go to the browser again to check this out if I refresh now click view I will see the detail page for the category
perfect. Since it's now possible to view the categories, we should make it possible to add them too. I will begin by creating a form for this. Inside the bookmark folder, create a new file called forms.py. Forms.py and import Django.forms import model form. I also need to import the category model from dot models import category and then I create the actual form. Model forms makes it possible to generate forms based on a model which in this case will be the category. Class category form pass in model form. Also add the meta for here and this takes two parameter for now model equals category fields i want the title field and the description field then i can save it the created at with field will be automatically filled when we save and i will explain how we add the user in a couple of seconds we need to create a new view so go back to views.py and import the form we just created from dot forms import category form. Also want the login required here. Def category add request. And inside here I want to check if the request method is post. Post. And if it is, I create a new instance of the form equals category form. And I pass in the request like this. Below here I want to check if the form is valid before I try to save it. And if it's valid I need to do a little thing here called category equals form.save but instead of saving it I need to add commit equals false. Because if I try to save it now, I would get an error because the user hasn't been added yet. Category dot created by equals request dot user category dot save. And when the category is added, I want to redirect the user to the categories page. Return redirect categories. I need to import this, so I can just scroll to the top and behind the render I, in, I import a redirect which is a shortcut. If the request method is get, I just want to add a form like this with no data. And then I return request, sorry, return render request bookmark category add.html context because I need to create a context here too form and pass in the form and save next I will create a template for this so I create a new file called category add.html I can copy some of this paste it Replace this with add category form method post action this view and I need to add a CSRF token here too and below I can generate the form form.sp so it will be generated as a paragraph button type submit class button is primary submit and save I will improve the style of this form later now we need to add the view to the URL pattern so I go down to dashboard again and open up URLs category add and I can just copy this Replace, replace, add, and save. 
And then the last step is to add a link on the categories page. Categories. Below here, I will add it. URL. Category add. Add category and save. Now we can go to the browser to test this. Just to refresh, click categories, add category, title, newspapers. This is the description and submit. Okay, I did something wrong here. Yeah, I added that, shouldn't be there. And then I go back here, remove that and save. Just there. Yeah, now you can see that it was added, just the redirection didn't work. I want to remove this ugly blue background color, so I go here, stop the server. Go here, open up main.stss. And just, I can just remove all of this. Grant says run server and refresh. Perfect. That's it for today. In the next part of this series, I will make it possible to add links to the category. If you want notification when the next part is published, you can subscribe to my channel and remember to click the bell.